Today's wash day was a little bit different and not all wash days are gonna be great. Um, today is probably one of them, but I am definitely going to be experimenting more. Today I used the Pacifica line. So this is the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Conditioner, the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining, Curl Defining Shampoo, and then the Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. Because I know that creams alone won't create a cast or create a definitive hold in my hair. I had to put in something that I know will work and something that's light. So I went with my trusty Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse as just sort of like a topper to create the cast on my hair to create that hold so that I have long lasting curls. Um, if I just use the curl cream, I will have definition, but it will poof out and day two will just be a big mess. So I knew that I had to kind of add something to the addition. I wanted to use just the three because it's just a line, but I couldn't do that. It's just my hair just wouldn't work. So first off is the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Shampoo. I actually really, really like the shampoo. It's got a really nice smell to it. It's very, very clean. The shampoo is very lathery. It's kind of thick though, so you kind of have to place it and then you have to place it where you need it. You can't just like, you know when you put shampoo and it kind of like moves itself? This shampoo is a little bit thicker, so you kind of have to put it in the place that you want to lather. So if you put it right up here, you have to put more back here and more back here and more back here. Work in small increments, it helps a lot. You do get a nice lather, nice fullness with the shampoo. It doesn't feel like it's stripping, and this is a shampoo that you can use um, on a daily basis. If you wash your hair every day with a shampoo, you can use it. It's not a clarifying shampoo, so that's good. Um, but I did use that, and then I rinsed fully out. Next up is the Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Conditioner. This one is a very thick conditioner, also a very, very nice smell. It's got a nice clean pineapple-y smell to it, really, really like it. I use this conditioner throughout my whole hair. I detangled with my Wet Brush Pro, absolutely love this brush. Um, in the shower, if you're looking for a nice detangling brush, this is one to go with. I use this in my hair, a nice glob amount, pulled it up as it's when it was um, done being detangled, put it up in um, a clip, did the rest of my shower, and then I washed it completely out. Like I said, I didn't want to use another leave-in because I didn't want to add more products into the routine. I put in just a little bit of the condi this conditioner on my ends to sort of give me a nice um, slip, and I put in maybe a quarter size amount, rubbed it throughout my hands, got it a little bit wet, rubbed it throughout my hands, and then just raked it through, working on the mids to ends, raking it all the way through, and then I took my Wet Brush Pro again and then just combed it all back to clump it back up again. And then at this point, I ran my head underneath the, the showers behind me. I went like this, this, and I think I went one more time just to get it nice and wet so it's dripping again. The clumps are happening again and I have leave-in. So now I have the point where I can put in my curl defining cream. So this is the Pineapple Swirl Curl Defining Cream. And this cream is really nice. I used to use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Defining Cream until I found out that it has, I, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's not curly girl friendly. So I decided to kind of put that aside for now until I find some curly girl friendly creams. I'm actually really, really liking this. Again, the smell is really, really nice. I don't know why the bottle is so dang small. Like, why can't it be the same size as a shampoo conditioner? I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I mean, yeah. They're all good price range. I believe it was all under $10. Each individual thing was um, at least $10 or lower in price. So they're a really good price point. So the curl cream, I then did praying hands. No more raking. I Sorry, I have like something in my throat. <clears> throat> it's like dry or something. A uh, wet brush to put everything back. And then I put some water in my hair. I put the curl cream maybe like a dime size amount. It's a little bit thicker because I do have that conditioner in my hair and I didn't want to weigh it down too much. So for the cream, I put in like a dime size amount put it throughout my hands and then I did praying hands and then scrunched up into the scalp. So I'm applying like from here down up. And I did that in small sections. I'll do it like down here. I'll do it on the outside, scrunch up, and then I'll flip all the way over. All of my hair flips all the way over, do praying hands scrunching. And then the same thing with the back. I did sort of like this and then I scrunched up and then I went upside down put some on the back of my head and scrunched up. And I just kind of went around and I kept scrunching it, scrunching it, and I put out all the excess water out of my hair. My hair just has cream in, it's pretty defined clumpiness. What I've been doing lately to get more of my uh, volume is, so if my hair is like this, 
I'll just kind of like shake it out. So my hair's wet and I've done this and I've like scrunched out all the water that I can and then I just kind of shake it out, get it to its normal state and I do it on both sides. I'll do it on this side, do it behind me and just kind of shake it out. And this is the point where I wanted to add in my mousse. So this is the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Mousse. This is the hold number three. Absolutely love this mousse. It's a thicker consistency, but it's still really lightweight. And I use a good amount so I get like a, so it fills up just about this much of my palm because it is thicker and move it around my hands. And the same thing I did with the cream is I kind of just like laid it over, not like pushing it into the scalp. I just kind of like laid it on top and then I scrunched up. Where I put more of this is on the underneath layer like I always do. When your head is upside down or you're to the side, put a little more on the, like the back of your head or the underneath because your hair as it's drying is gonna hit your shirt or hit your shoulders and you want a little more hold on that part, at least I do. Throughout the day it does break up but if I don't have a lot of hold, it will break up and it'll become really fluffy and no more definition and it'll become really knotted. So I put mousse around and then I plopped up in a long sleeve t-shirt and I got out of the shower, plopped up in a long sleeve t-shirt. I was probably in that for maybe five to 10 minutes, not too long. Just got a lot of extra moisture out and kind of like pushed my hair up to my scalp. And then today I decided to diffuse. So I didn't really like diffuse. I just used my regular blow dryer and then my Extava, my Extava diffuser, I can't remember. I just hovered over my head. So wherever my hair was, I never touched it. I just kind of like flipped it over and then just hovered. So this is, my hand is the diffuser. I had it on high or medium intensity. I had it on high heat. Sometimes I would put it on the lower because it got too hot, but I just hovered. So I would just take it and just hover and I would mainly focus around my head because that's where it takes the longest time to dry and just hovered. And then I would do this and then just hovered. And I kept doing this and I'm trying to get as much volume on my roots as possible. So if you keep moving it and just did this and just hovered. And the same thing as being upside down, just hovering over the hair. And I probably did that for 10 minutes, created a nice cast. My hair was not completely dry. So I decided to root clip and I root clip just the front of my hair like that. I have a, a video that I did before. It's not specifically on root clipping, but there is a part. So I will link that down below for you if you're curious on how I root clip my hair. I'll set all timestamp it so you know exactly where to go in the video. But that is how I root clip and that's how I've always done it. Um, I did about four or five in the front today and I put them in until my hair is completely dry and then I take them out and then of course I scrunch out the crunch. And today, uh, when my hair was wet, it was just so stringy and frizzy and just not cute. And I was like, it's gonna be a really bad hair day. It's not cute whatsoever. Today isn't the best. And I have really good definition in some parts. Um, some parts are really curly and really defined and other parts are a little more fluffy. Overall, I like it, but I wouldn't give it a, a great hair day for me. I think having the conditioner as my leave-in. I think it's a little too thick. It's weighing my hair down. It's not really helping the cream and the mousse sort of define and give that intensity to the curls. I think it's a really great, as, as time goes on, I think maybe day two hair tomorrow, when I sleep on it a little bit, I think it'll be nice and fluffy. We'll kind of see it, but it might also break up and turn into something like this. Like they're not as defined. For some reason, this little chunk right here is just, this one's good. Yeah, this hair is is really great, but for some reason this little piece right here is just not cute. I may re-wet it and then use the Denman brush and then get it back to everybody else, but this is definitely a nice hair day. I think it can def it definitely has improvement and definitely has some, like I see potential in this. I really like the shampoo, I really like the conditioner, I wouldn't use it as a leave-in again, it's a little too heavy for me. Um, really dig in the curl cream, which makes me excited because I really love curl creams. And of course my mousse is a go-to, I'm almost empty, but I can always try it with like a gel or something like that. Curl cream to sort of define the curls and the ringlets and then use the gel to create that cast and overlay. But overall, I think it's great. Let's give you a 360 view.
So I'm pretty excited about this line. I love how it is budget friendly, like it's really inexpensive. It's pretty close to the Not Your Mother's line, but you get a lot of product. This is eight fluid ounces. I'll have to look at the other bottles. I'm actually more, I like pumps more because then I can control how much I'm using. Ones that squirt out themselves, I feel like sometimes you can use a lot of product and you can't really control how much you're using each time. Of course, you can say like, oh, that's too much. But you know, with a pump, you're always like, okay, I use two pumps and then you're done. Really liking these so far, really wanting to try these definitely again. And I feel like it's really gonna work out. I think I wanna try it with other mousses, other different gels. Maybe I'll try it with just the Curl Defining Cream and see how that looks. But from experience, I, have, I don't have a lot of good hold for day two, day three hair. So let me know down below if you guys have tried this, if you really like using a specific product after the curl cream or maybe before the curl cream, if you have a regimen, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on today's hair. I'm still iffy about it and you know, I have good ringlets and definition, but I feel like it's just, there's something about it that I'm just not digging and I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. I'm always just curious and outsider's perspective. If you have watched my other videos and looked at my other curls, my hair days, you'll see that some days are a lot better than others and I can just tell that this day is just not one of my favorite days. And there's like really nice curls in here, but everything else, like there's a little bit of frizz too. You can kind of see it right here. And I'm not afraid of frizz. A frizz happens and it, it does what it does, but it's a lot frizzier than I'm like I'm used to on day one hair. So let me know down in the comments your thoughts on today's hair. I really always like to hear from you guys. As always, I link all the information and the products that I talk about down in the description box with their links so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself with more info. And of course, everything in this video is curly girl friendly. So don't be afraid that there are any harsh chemicals in these shampoos, conditioners, or any of that sort. That is all I have for today's video. I will be Definitely doing another wash day um, with the Pacifica line because I really, really enjoy it. So look forward to that. It'll probably be my curly hair diaries, which I talk about different wash day. Every time I do a wash day, I talk about my wash, how I applied everything, and the products that I use, all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll link the curly hair diaries. I think I'm on number six or number seven right now of different wash days, and I always use different products and different applications. So you can check up on those if you're looking for new products that I have used. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit the bell next to it for notifications so you can be notified that every time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!